All right, what's up with it, everybody? Back with another video, dropping you guys some content. So we're here today. We got two guests on the channel. We got Ryan and we got Coulter. We're doing a exotic stud installation on a 2018 Ram 2500 with the 67 Cummins. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of y'all have been asking me about these head studs here, all right? So we're gonna be doing a review on them, or not really a review, but an installation, and then we'll do a little review over time on them, but these studs have been getting a lot of feedback and a lot of uh, popularity, gaining popularity on Instagram. Oh, let me zoom out. On uh, Instagram and social media, you might have seen them, okay? Exotic performance, they're based out of uh, Canada, I wanna say Toronto. They actually hit me up and reached out to me to make this video. Um, you can argue all day, over why you need to go with ARP, but at the end of the day, I'm gonna put it like this. I asked them and I talked to them and did a lot of questioning with them. They provided facts, testing, evidence, solid stuff. This is not no Chinese knockoff company, okay? Um, and the price is what gets people's eyes catch the best, okay? Uh, in a good way and a bad way, because people think, oh, well, they're cheaper, so that means their quality is gonna be cheaper. That's not necessarily the point, okay? I have ARP 2000s on my 6.7. But the thing about it is, up until now, there was no company to truly challenge ARP when it came to making stud, aftermarket studs and bolts and nuts and whatever it may be, okay? So pretty much with that comes a monopoly. You guys know how capitalism works, basically. But long story short, they were able to charge whatever they wanted to charge for these studs. But, but now there's a new company out there challenging them, okay? It's no different than Forge Wheels. You got new Forge Wheel companies out there that are able to sell Forge Wheels that look just as good as your big brand name ones, but they're cheaper. Same deal with this. So we're going to be installing these. Uh, the kit here is going to be good for your 24 valves, 5967s. What's cool about this kit, they include some sockets or a socket. So they give you a 14 mil in that bad boy. Thank you, man. So they give you a 14 mil. All the hardware in here looks identical to ARP when I did my studs. I mean, they give you your nuts. You got all your stud bolts back here. So over here on the engine, you can see we already went ahead and took off the basic stuff, your valve cover, your uh, well, yeah, your valve cover, your CCV filter and stuff. So now what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna take off the rocker box around here. We're gonna remove all the valve train and then we're gonna start taking out studs one at a time. Long story short, y'all, when we do this, I already got an installation video on how to install studs on a 6759 Cummins. Long story short, one for one bolt swap. If you're not taking the head off, even if you were taking the head off, you would have to remove all the head bolts. But We'll take one head bolt out, starting in the middle, swap it with a stud, torque it down to whatever the specs are in the, in the installation instructions, and then we will go on and keep going until we, and the goal is you start in the middle until you work your way all the way out, and then once you're done, do a final torque, check them, make sure it doesn't move, and go from there. So we're going to get cracking on this because if y'all done this job before, you do know it takes a little bit of time. Uh, once again, make sure y'all smash that thumbs up button, get this video, let's get this video today. I want this video at, what y'all want? How many likes for the video? Five thousand. Oh snap! The challenge is out there. We got five thousand likes. All right. I don't know what we're gonna do if we get five thousand likes. I'll think of something, or y'all can comment down below and tell me what y'all want to do. But let's get this video five k likes. If we do that, it's gonna get out there to everybody. People can see this review on these studs, and maybe more people be inclined towards uh, wanting to get go this route and save some money because we all know that parts for these trucks are not uh, not cheap. So stand by, and then we'll show y'all some more stuff as we make progress. Okay. All right. All right so we about to torque the first one. So we already got it on there. He's gonna torque it 40 foot pounds. That's the first torque via Exotics torque spec uh, recommendation. There you go. Click. And then now we'll bump it up to uh, 80 foot pounds. So we actually taped the instructions to the hood, which makes it really nice to just look up and read it. So we're gonna tor torque the next one to 80 foot pounds, and then the final torque is gonna be 125. You guys, the instructions are identical to ARPs. This torque specs, I believe, is uh, the final torque is identical to ARP. I know final torque is 125. The hardware, they co it comes with everything. They even include Allen key, grease, washers. Uh, they separate the six outboard studs because you the outer six studs on the exhaust manifold side, those actually are longer than the inboard ones. So they separate those six right here for you so that way you ain't even got to work it. He just popped it to 80 foot-pounds. They tell you the torque order to go into. I mean, y'all, these this is legit right here, 100% legit. So I think uh, 125. we have 125. I think, I think that one caps out at what, 120? 150. Oh, whoa, we're good. All right, then. So, yeah, man, so that's all we're doing, and, and this is the back-breaking part. So we got one bolt swapped out. We got 25 more to go. It gets interesting when you get back there towards the number six uh, cylinder and injector. One thing to keep in mind when y'all using these tools, make sure you be careful around your injectors because 
if you hit your injector and break these little studs off that the two little nuts go to it's gonna be a bad day so and this is a back workout as you can see uh, by the time you on bolts 24 25 your back's trashed so it helps when you got some buddies to help out and crack some cold ones and all that good stuff all right y'all so after a few beers a little bit of elbow grease and back work some time went by we are officially on number 26 stud Ryan's just taking out the stock head bolt and then he's going to go ahead and uh, put the stud in we already put a little bit of a uh, little lube on the top side threads you don't have to lube when you do this you don't have to put the grease on the bottom threads just put them in dry um, but the top one put a little bit to help that nut out when it's time to torque it so he's putting that in right now and he's going to put the washer in so what you want to do is coat the washer coat the washer in the bottom of the nut with uh, some of this uh, performance lube put that there and then you just spread it down on over the, the nut went oh you got it so what he's doing right now he's using the provided allen screw exotic provides everything you need to do this the only thing you need is like their actual tools the ratchets and torque wrenches and uh he just snuck that down a little bit now he's gonna go ahead and put a little bit of that bad boy on there both sides you want to put it on that way it's a uh, nice and slick because the whole name of the game is when you're torquing these down you don't want any drag so by putting them on dry it can cause dragging on the nut which can lead to a false torque reading so by putting that assembly lube on there it just ensures that when the torque wrench is torquing it it's actually turning the nut and you know torquing it down and getting it nice and tight so one by one it does take a long time but at the end of the day you are saving probably about six seven hours of mechanic shop labor which is roughly about seven eight hundred bucks and you're getting your truck studded you know so now he's going to do the first torque so we got two torque wrench what you looking for i gotta get that last bolt Oh, uh, the wait, the, the oh, the last bolt, the stud bolt, or yeah. the original one? So he's getting the nut ready right now. They provided plenty of lube, too. Yeah, you don't need a lot of this stuff. This stuff goes a long way. Like, we use maybe half the packet. You don't need a lot. You know, It doesn't have to be all slopped up in there. You know, just get enough on there to where it's covering all of the surface area. And that's more than enough. Just like with the threads, put some on there. It doesn't need a lot. He's just threading the nut down, and then he's going to go ahead and torque that 40 foot-pounds, followed by 80 foot-pounds, followed by final torque, 125 foot-pounds. We got two torque wrenches. That, it just makes it quicker. So the big one, the longer one, is set to 125 because you get better leverage. And then the short guys, uh, we go back and forth between 40 and 80 foot-pounds. So we just we just do, hook it up. I think. Yeah, it'll flash if it's dead. Maybe the sinking on it went bad. Yup, so 40 foot pounds right now. It's not that much. It's very simple. Now he's gonna go ahead and bump that, bump that up to 80. And give it 80 and then redo it. It's, it's weird looking at a 6.7 on the fourth gen because they, little things is different compared to the third gen. Just like I was talking to him earlier. They've got a nice little blanket for the fuel rail. Keeps it nice and clean. It looks like brand new. This is a 2018. I ain't even show y'all the last, show y'all this truck yet, but actually I can show y'all now. So he's gonna torque the last torque, but this is a clean Ford Jam, white. You said it got like what, 42,000? 46,000 miles right now. 46K. 22 by 12s and 35s. Hell yeah, mega cab. The only way to go. He just recently got his hitch, tow hooks, and something else powder coated. Candy cherry. This thing is beautiful. The whole hitch got powder coated. So, and he does use this, hence his license plate name. Toe Piggy, I like it. Got some brand new 30, 35 Atorials on here. So. All right, that's the last one. That was the last one. So I want to go through and recheck it all? Yeah, yeah, if you want to. So, last thing, one thing I forgot to mention is you will have to shave down the rocker box. So, you can see here, oh, I'm holding upside down, my bad. So you see right there, we shaved her down because it protrudes out normally. Actually, I'm holding the wrong side. I'm tripping. So we shaved it down, down here. You can see. So you have to shave that back one so the number 24 stud can sit down in there correctly. Uh, I just used this funny looking drill bit I picked up from Lowe's like three years ago when I did my head studs. Use this little guy. And uh, it tears up that, it, it carves it out in a heartbeat. 
it takes no time to do it. So time went by doing this. Uh, Y'all ain't miss nothing. At the end of the day, it is time consuming. You got to take your time and then you got to follow through. So what he's doing now is he's going through and just doing a one click on all of them just to make sure none of them move, ensuring that they all nice and tight. And then we're going to start going reverse, putting everything back up and that's it. We'll get back with y'all once we get everything together. All right, so right now what we're doing is installing the rocker arms again. Now, we made sure when we took the rockers off to make sure that they were they were in the right position from when we took them off, meaning the number six intake exhaust rockers go with the number six again, five goes with five, and so on and so forth. So right now what he's doing is he's torquing the rockers down to 27 foot-pounds. And down right now, giving it a nice little click. And he's doing that five. And then I stopped at the number four. We stopped at the number four arm just to get, kind of give him a little bit of better clearance. Once we get these torqued down, we'll finish putting three, two, and one in. Torque those down, install the injector harness, put the nuts on, um, put the injector harness nuts. Some people torque it to 11 inch pounds with the spec. Me personally, I, I run them down. And then as soon as a sharp rise of torque is felt, that's it, I'm done. Uh, I don't even play with those harnesses because if you snap one of them studs off the injector, that's a bad day. Was that all of them? Yep. Okay. So now he's going to go ahead and just get his next set. Got his rocker bridges. Going to place them on top of his valves. Bada boom. Just like that. Bada bing. Super clean. It's crazy because these valves, these rocker bridges are different than the ones on my truck. So at some point, Ram changed the uh, type of bridges they were using. And then he just comes over with the whole assembly. Now when you put it on, you want to make sure that that little ball portion fits into the cup on your push rods. That way, just like that, it should look just like that when you, it's fully installed. Now you can install this without it being lined up with the push rod. Uh, make sure you check to make sure it is lined up just like that. And what he's doing is he's just running a couple finger threads just to make sure we don't cross thread it. And then we got the electric ratchet here so you can run them down all the way. Once you run them down, take the torque wrench, torque them to spec, and it's easy day, man. Super easy to do this. There's nothing to it. All right, assembly time, so we got Rocker box on right now. My shave job on the rocker box went well because she sat flush back there. Right now, Ryan's just torquing from in from the middle outwards. Uh, 18 foot pounds for the rocker box is going to be the torque. When you start, when you do it, personally me, I like to start in the middle and work outway because once again you're torquing a flat plane surface, so you always want to make sure the torque is evenly dispersed across the whole plane. That way you don't end up with a gasket leak in the back and the front, something, something crazy. It's a little tricky to get back there, but uh, just take your time and you get in there nice and good. After that, reinstall the injector harness. For these guys, like I said, we just tighten them down until sharp rise of torque and that's it, nothing more, because we don't want to risk uh, snapping one of those stu uh, studs off. And then that's it. All right, so now all we're gonna do now is crank her up just to make sure everything looks spick and span before we button her up to finish her off. Super simple. This went really good, really good job. Um, there you go. Everything looks pretty, spick and perfect. This truck got 45,000 miles on it, so we ain't even gonna bother with valve lash. I mean, it's damn near brand new, so. At this point, just check it and make sure everything looks good. If it does, nothing crazy. Now we're just gonna finish buttoning her up and call it a day. Shit. All right, y'all. So that's a wrap. She's all buttoned up. Ryan's about to go ahead and start her up right now. I'll let y'all get a little exhaust note. The super clean fortune. Five inch rough country lift he put on not that long ago. Some you got some compression forge, 22 by 12s, I believe. Yeah. Sweet sounding truck. But his job's all done, y'all. Exotic head studs installed. Very clean, man. Ryan, what you think about the installation? Uh, first time doing it, but it, went, it went pretty clean. Uh, Honestly, it's very easy. I, I'm not a big mechanical guy. Yeah. But camera here you know, helped me out a lot. And it was honestly pretty easy. I think if I can do it, anyway. There you go, man. That's a living testament right there, y'all. Exotic studs. I mean, I tell you what, right now, looking at these studs, if you look at these and someone tell you, you won't know if it's ARP, you won't know if it's exotic, but these are exotic studs. 
Uh, if you guys are really curious, I, you know, maybe after 10,000, 15,000 miles, I can, we can make a video. If you guys want, drop it in the comments. We'll make a video with Ryan following up on his experience with them. I mean, in all honesty, you can only say two things. Either they suck or they're good. There's no true way to tell if they're holding a certain amount of force while driving unless you got some crazy contraption. But uh, if, if you're asking me at the end of the day what I recommend these heads does, 100% yes. Uh, it, can't complain honestly you guys if you guys want to get into the game of head studs for an affordable price i think these go for 330 I think they're or 272 to the 300 dollar ballpark plus or minus you know 20 bucks is going to get your truck studded which is amazing versus paying 450 for the equivalent arp 2000s which i have on my truck exotic is in the in that market they are uh, currently are testing and, and working on their heavier duty tensile uh, head stud, so equivalent to your ARP 625s, because I actually don't know if these are reusable, but as soon as I do, I will drop a comment down in the uh, comment section with a pin. That way, if anybody's curious if these are reusable or one-time use, you guys will know. I don't know off the top of my head, but are excellent. Um, these are equivalent. When I say equivalent, they have the same 220 PSI tensile strength, just like the ARP 425s or 2000s. You can't go wrong for the money, man. I mean, the way I look at it is if my truck wasn't studied, these would be going on my truck right now. But obviously my truck's studied, so y'all see, y'all know how that works out. But all right, y'all, so we're going to wrap it up now. It's all buttoned up. This probably took us like, how long? It took us like six. A couple hours. We took yeah. a couple beer breaks. Yeah, so. yeah, we had breaks. We had, you know, food. Uh, I went and got a haircut. <laughs> so at, at the end of the day, it went good, man. So you guys, we're going to wrap this video up. If you enjoyed it, please give a thumbs up. Like it. Ryan, you got an Instagram? Anybody? Yeah, want? I got an Instagram. Toe Piggy six point seven. Hey, like, comment, follow the video. Five thousand likes. We'll do a dual burnout. There it is. There it is. Y'all heard it, y'all. All right. So until next time, thank y'all for checking out the channel. Y'all take care. Be safe and peace.